Well, hello everyone, and welcome to your Libra Full Moon Lunar Eclipse Release and Let Go Astrology Energy Report and Guided Meditation for March 25th, 2024. I am Susan Saucier, your spiritual intuitive coach. Please note that this report is for everyone. If you know your birth chart, you can look to see where Libra is and it will help you know what area of your life you may be working on. If Libra is your sun, moon, or rising sign, you will more than likely be failing this. If this is your first time here, well, welcome. I hope you enjoy this content. And if you do, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell and introduce yourself in the comments. And a quick thank you to all of my current subscribers who I am truly, truly grateful for. Now, if you're interested in going directly to the guided meditation portion, I've placed a timestamp in the notes below. And if you're interested in what you may experience in your world over the next few weeks, well, let's start talking about that right now. First, I always like to start with some of the negative and positive aspects of the sign, which is Libra, that may show up either in yourself or in those around you, because the moon can influence your energy and how you show up during this time. So some of the negative aspects are being indecisive, even manipulative, superficial, lazy, codependent, people-pleasing, and even avoiding confrontations to keep the peace. Some of the positive aspects of Libra are, they're very romantic and charming, great listeners, idealists, they're very creative and artistic, they're understanding, social butterflies, they're very fair and honest, and they are the symbol of justice. Now, let's talk about this Libra full moon lunar eclipse and what you may experience. Libra is an air sign, as well as one of the cardinal signs, which represent leadership. They are ruled by Venus, the planet of love and money. Since they are an air sign, they typically live in their thoughts more than in their heart, and they sometimes have trouble getting out of their heads and going into their heart. This being a Libra full moon lunar eclipse means it will be more powerful than your typical full moon. A lunar eclipse is like a supercharged full moon on steroids that can make some of you feel like a tornado is coming through your world, stirring up all kinds of emotions, depending on where Libra is in your chart. And of course, if you are a sun, moon or rising Libra. This isn't a bad thing. It is a purging and a cleansing of what you really need to be aware of and what you need to release. Whatever you've been experiencing over the past, say, four to six months will probably be at the forefront. Eclipses are known for big changes and transformations, which can occur in your outer world, but can also take place within you. You may have relationships or jobs ending or pushing you to take a step in a new direction that may feel scary or a little uncomfortable, but for your highest good. Or you may find that some of your old limiting beliefs and blocks or guilt trips that you put yourself on, they're ending because of the work you've been doing, which allows you to start fresh with a newfound confidence and belief in yourself and what you wish to accomplish in life. This lunar eclipse in Libra is connected with the solar eclipse that will take place on April 8th. These two energetic powerhouses are filled with intense energy that opens up possibilities for new beginnings and fast changes. Since lunar eclipses are associated with the moon, they're felt more emotionally than a solar eclipse. It will be important to feel into your emotions and allow your higher self and your intuition to guide you as you maneuver through whatever changes present themselves during this time. Whatever was going on in your life around October of 2023 can be very familiar with this lunar eclipse. You may even want to write down what's going on in your life at this time relate it back to October of 2023, and then you can look back at this time in October of 2024 when you will experience the solar eclipse in Libra. 
it's kind of like I've mentioned this many times before, like bookends and all of your life themes and stories are kind of combined within this particular time frame. Eclipses affect everyone in different ways. It really depends on your birth chart, but also where Aries is as well. Since we are in Aries season and the solar eclipse taking place on April 8th is in Aries. You can definitely expect many themes surrounding relationships to be at the forefront during this time. And this means your relationship with your significant other with family, with friends, with co-workers, and your relationship with yourself. Finding balance and harmony, setting boundaries, and really becoming aware of where you are people-pleasing and losing yourself so that you fit in or so that you feel loved or needed. Since relationships are a necessary part of life with yourself and with others, it is important to be truthful with yourself and what it is you desire in your life. Knowing when you are overgiving and not receiving and where you aren't giving enough and becoming lost in your needs to the point of becoming selfish. There's such a fine line between the two. You need to put yourself first and take care of your needs, but not to the point where you forget about the relationships in your life. And same thing about taking care of others and then forgetting to take care of you in your life. You should always come first, but always remember that relationships are needed in this world. Now, codependency can be another big wound that opens up during this time. Discovering your need to be in a relationship that requires you to be in control in order to keep the peace and to people please, to avoid drama and conflict. And I feel there are quite a few of you out there who are what I would call highly functioning codependents, meaning anyone who knows you would never think of you as codependent because you appear to have it all together, running the show, taking care of business and family, always on the go, holding down the fort. But underneath that cool exterior is a soul struggling to find herself or himself that would rather become lost in taking care of everyone else instead of taking care of that little lost one inside of you, because a long time ago, you lost that version of you because you needed to feel needed and loved. This is a time to really become aware of who you are on an authentic level. What excites you? What do you do in life that brings you joy? Not what brings other people in your life joy, but what brings you joy? And if you find yourself saying, Helping others brings me joy. Well, that's well and good, but that answer reveals that you probably don't know what brings you joy anymore because you stopped giving to yourself and you became lost in taking care of everyone else. If you look at everyone in your life, remember that they are in your life for a reason, just as you are in their life. You're the main character. You're the lead player in the role. And they are in your story of life. You are their teacher and they are yours. Everyone is a reflection of each other. That being said, notice what frustrates you in others. And then be really honest and see if you carry that trait as well. Often what you don't like in someone else is a part of yourself that you don't like either. This is a great time to examine all the parts of yourself that you have ignored for a long time or even lost. You're in the process of transforming and awakening into a higher vibration that requires you to be willing to seek the truth within yourself. What is it that you need to forgive others or even within yourself? What do you need to embrace in order to be the version of you that you desire? And how can you bring more value into your life and the life of others? When it comes to giving and receiving, notice where you lack the ability to receive a compliment. Or do you lack the ability to give freely to others without wanting something in return? The balance and the harmony is what you're seeking at this time in all areas of your life. 
Now, in closing, whatever may come up for you during this full moon lunar eclipse in Libra, you are well equipped to handle. You can be thrown completely off course and find yourself in a whirlwind of changes that you didn't expect or anticipate. But whatever the case may be, trust that you hold the knowledge and the wisdom within you to keep you on course which will enable you to land exactly where you are meant to land. And it will be for your highest good. Remember you're being encouraged to release old blocks and patterns that don't serve you and to not continue doing the same familiar behavior that will keep you stagnant instead of opening yourself up to new opportunities. If you keep trying to control everything in your life, You aren't allowing God, your creator, the universe, to assist you in your journey. And this is where you miss those beautiful opportunities that are waiting for your arrival. Yes, it may be a little bit of a bumpy road, a roller coaster of emotions even, but if you are not willing to have faith, to surrender that control, and to trust that you are being guided on the best path for you, then you may find yourself feeling really frustrated and disappointed. So be open to receive, be open to release the emotions that are coming up, the blocks, the patterns, the limiting beliefs that are really wanting to get up and out of you and dissolve and allow the balance of peace and harmony, giving and receiving to bring you back into alignment. If you overgive, then you are unbalanced. If you are not good at receiving, you're not balanced. If you're over receiving and you're not good at giving, you're not balanced. And this is what Libra is about on a very deep level is finding that balance within yourself, that harmony that brings you into alignment. Libra's reminding you to align with what you love in life and let it bring you the balance and harmony that will make you happy. Let your compassion for others be available and at the forefront. If you find yourself feeling indecisive, it will be important that you get out of your head, go into your heart, and connect with your intuition. Since Libra is very creative and artistic, it may be helpful to either listen to your favorite music, dance, Sing along, whatever it does to take your mind off whatever you're having difficulty making a decision about. Or do something with art. Paint, scribble, let your mind connect with the energy of your hand. Maybe visualize a beam of light filled with amazing energy coming in through the crown of your head, going down your arm and into your hand, and allowing your hand to create whatever it is that's needed for you to let go of your thoughts. You may even ask a question to your higher self and let your scribbling, your inner child come out and just scribble and have fun. And it very well could turn into a very insightful answer. So once again, setting boundaries plays a big part in this time frame as well. Relationships require boundaries. And if you don't have any, then you probably have people walking all over you. And if you feel bad saying no, Welcome to the club, but you have to learn. No is important when it is overstepping a boundary. Recognize this as an issue within you that needs healing. People pleasing can lead to resentment and anger that can fester inside your body. You need to release that. And one way to do that is by setting those boundaries and honoring them. You have the courage, you have the strength, you have everything inside you, you need to do so. You don't have to go full-blown crazy. Take little steps and you'll find that you, with each one, have more courage to keep going. Remember, your inner child needs you more than anyone else. Take care of that little one first by letting them know they matter. And that means setting boundaries giving them the love and attention instead of giving it to everyone else, which usually ends up letting you feel very drained and frustrated. 
Now, since we're in Aries season, I like to talk about that as well. And of course, since we're coming up to April 8th, which will be the Aries solar eclipse, it's important to bring this up as well. Uh, Aries is about the self and Libra is about self and others relationships. Some of the negative aspects of Aries can be the lack of empathy for others and becoming aggressive and demanding, where some of the negative aspects of Libra can be where you're too indecisive and you lose your ability to communicate what you need because you're busy making sure you're pleasing everyone to avoid a conflict. And sometimes the indecision can be you see both sides of the story, so you feel stuck. So really pay attention to how you're handling these parts of you. Don't let yourself become so consumed with pleasing others that you lose yourself completely in the process. It's more important that you recognize if you've lost yourself than if you will lose another because you're setting boundaries and not people pleasing anymore. In the long run, you will find this as part of your biggest transformation. When you're able to honor yourself in a very profound and enlightened way, you give yourself all the things and the love, the unconditional love that you've needed all along, which in turn starts to allow you the confidence to be who you are and to trust your instincts and to know that you're worthy of saying, no, I just don't want to do that today. Or no, I can't. I have this to do. And if someone's making you feel guilty, remember guilt is not um, an emotion. It's more of a part of you that comes up and it's a red flag. It's letting you know that there's a little piece of you somewhere in there that needs attention and remind yourself that you are worthy and you do deserve to have the time you need and to say no when you really truly don't want to do something. So I hope you can find yourself during this phase, really connecting with the energy of this beautiful, the positive aspects of Libra, the compassion, the ability to find that balance and justice and fairness within yourself and within others. And also the energy of Aries, the positive ones where you're finding yourself honoring who you are and feeling the courage to take action. So trust in your magnificence. And know that you are here to experience life in all its glory. And that means all the lessons that go with it. It's up to you on how you choose to play the game of life. Be open to receive the blessings in the universe and shine your light. For it is worthy to be seen by everyone. Trust that you're exactly where you're meant to be. And remember to live in the present moment. Present stands for present. So whatever you're thinking about, whatever you're focused on, whatever you're filling your life with emotionally and focused on, you are pre-sending it into your future reality. So use the present as a gift because it truly is. Remember, my friend, you are an incredible spiritual being living a human experience and life on planet earth is quite a challenge. However, even with all those obstacles, you still show up because you truly are amazing. You're more than your pain, you're more than your scars, and you are more than your fear. You are unconditional divine love. Now, if you enjoyed this message and found it resonated with you, I hope you hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up, leave a comment and share it with others. And if you're interested in preparing your space for the full moon, I've put a link below for your convenience. And if you're ready to enjoy your full moon guided meditation, well, Find a comfortable place and let's begin. Begin by closing your eyes and setting your intention. Connecting with the energy of the full moon and letting the full moon know you are grateful for the lighted path that is before you which is helping you to clearly see what adjustments need to be made and what you are ready to release. Now take a nice, slow, deep breath in through your nose 
and release through your mouth. Once again, breathing in through your nose, new fresh clarity and releasing through your mouth the old stagnant energy that no longer serves you. Let us join together in love, peace and harmony as we gather together embarking on this journey and connecting with the full moon as we prepare to cleanse and release what no longer serves us. We ask to be embraced in the highest vibration of pure divine love, pure healing light, surrounding us with safety and protection always. And we ask Archangel Michael from the south, bringing in the element of fire to join us on this journey as we burn and release what no longer serves us. We ask Archangel Raphael from the east, offering us the element of air to bring healing as we reclaim our power and let go of blocks and limiting beliefs. And we ask Archangel Uriel from the north, bringing in the element of earth to give us a solid foundation upon which to build our dreams, providing us with stability and balance in our lives. And we call upon Archangel Gabriel from the West, bringing in the element of water to shower down upon us, pure cleansing, white light, clearing away old wounds and washing away past issues that hold us back and supporting us as we sit with our emotions aligning with our true authentic self. As we gather under this beautiful full moon, we also invite our spirit team, guides, angels and helpers to be by our side as we embrace the opportunity this full moon is offering us. Now recognize that this full moon is symbolizing the end of a chapter in your life, shedding light upon the things and situations and behaviors that need your attention so that you can let them go. This is a healing process of purging and releasing and letting go. Please remember to drink plenty of water when your session is complete. This full moon is also illuminating the things and people in your life that may be interfering with your spiritual growth and enlightenment. So right now, Give yourself permission to be open to the light of the full moon and the messages that are being presented to you. Know that this is a great opportunity where you purge and release whatever you do not wish to take with you into your future. As you take in another cleansing breath through your nose, releasing the stagnant energy through your mouth, begin to feel your body relaxing even more deeply into a 
peaceful state. Knowing that this is your time, your time to heal, your time to purge, your time to release and let go of any stress, anxiety, and worries. Begin to feel them simply lift up off of your shoulders, out of your mind, drifting up and away from you, drifting up further and further away from you into nothingness. Know that you are safe and secure and your spirit team is surrounding you with loving, healing light. Now begin to see in your mind a beautiful path unfolding before you. The full moon above is shining its bright, illuminating light and you can clearly see the path before you. Notice that this path is specifically just for you and you alone and it is created by your spirit team to bring you the safety, the love and the healing that is needed as you release and purge. As you walk slowly along this beautiful path, begin to notice a gentle breeze caressing your face. You can smell the scent of beautiful flowers and you can see all the stars lighting up the sky surrounding the bright full moon. You notice tall trees on either side of you as you walk along the path, feeling the velvety grass so soft beneath your feet. And as you come to the end of this path, you suddenly find yourself in a large, magnificent meadow. The full moon is shining, guiding you to a soft, large blanket awaiting your arrival. And as you sit or lie on this blanket, you find yourself looking up at the full moon and all the bright stars, feeling at peace, knowing that this is a powerful moment where you are here to heal and cleanse and rejuvenate your physical body, emotional body, mental body, spiritual body and energy field. Taking in a nice slow deep breath, releasing and letting go. You are now ready to proceed with releasing everything on your list, stating out loud or in your mind. I am now releasing everything on my list. This is my intention. I am ready to let go of what no longer serves me. I am washing away the fears of yesterday. I now release myself from any obstacles that are in my path. 
I now choose to forgive, knowing that I am setting myself free by doing so. I am now free from all these things, situations, and people that no longer serve me. This is my intention, and I am choosing to let this go, and it is so. Now allow yourself to bask in this loving energy of the full moon as it vibrates healing energy onto you, assisting you in letting go and releasing, guiding you and helping you purge and wash away all painful memories, washing away and soothing heartache, releasing and dissolving physical pain, helping you let go of anger and grief, dissolving guilt and shame, and removing any limiting beliefs and blocks that have kept you stuck. Know that while you have endured many challenges, they have allowed you to gain so much wisdom and insight in the process. Understanding that choosing to hold on to memories and negative situations and people that weigh you down will continue to keep you stuck. Set yourself free. It's time. You are ready to move forward and release any negative, heavy energy right now. Say these words in your mind or out loud. My heart's desire is to be filled with love, happiness, peace, excellent health, prosperity and abundance. And at this time, it is my intention and I am choosing to heal every part of my body and my mind as I embrace this love and healing energy from this beautiful vibrant full moon. Now begin to see in your mind everything you have written on your list. Notice that it is no longer bright and colorful. Notice that it has now become smaller and smaller, and you can barely see the words that you have written down. The list filled with everything you wish to release has now begun to move further and further away from you. Further and further away no longer having any power or control over you. And as you look out into the distance, you can see this tiny speckle, smaller and smaller, until you no longer see it at all. 
It is gone. It is done. It is over. It is released and dissolved. You are free. You are now ready to embrace new positive beginnings that will empower you and fill you with joy and love. Place your hands over your heart. This signifies that you are cleansing the old and opening up space for a healing to take place in all areas of your life. Know that as you bask under the beautiful, vibrant, healing light of the full moon, you are also choosing to make any necessary changes that are needed in order for you to move forward on your path. Say these words out loud or in your mind. I am choosing to love myself. I am choosing to honor myself. I now give thanks and gratitude to the full moon, to the universe, and my creator. I now give thanks and gratitude to my spirit team, angels, and guides for being with me on this healing and nourishing, rejuvenating journey. I am so grateful for this cleansing and release, and I now have room and welcome in beautiful new beginnings that are manifesting in my life, and it is so. Thank you. Thank you. Now find yourself leaving the beautiful meadow, walking down the beautiful path, and finding yourself back into the present moment, knowing that you have released and you have cleansed and you have let go of what is no longer needed in your future. When you are ready, you can either continue to drift off into a wonderful deep sleep or open your eyes and enjoy the rest of your day.